two-day weekend-long celebration of Smash. It'll be a good time, so make sure to register at uh, start.gg slash maxres. You can find all the information on that page. That's right, but here we are, queuing up into this next match. Syrup and Pango, the ultimate run back. We'll see if Pango can get on the board here. Pango coming in, loser side. We're starting out on Battlefield. Not something we see as a starter a lot at Century Series, let alone at all um, on stream, but I'm excited to see it. Well, it's interesting. Like, I wonder how much the triplat <laughs> helps Steve. Like, it seems weird because Steve has such a low jump height. Right, you're not going to utilize it a lot, but both these players, when we saw their first match in Winner's Finals, um, they were, like, doing some crazy builds with these blocks the entire set. So I'm curious to see how these platforms come into play. Yeah, anything is possible when you get these no-impact lands. Going up with the Diamond Axe. Oh, no, gold, yeah. I'm oh, sorry, Coming gold, not even Diamond, yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Pango still winning it so far. Actually, I'm surprised that didn't hit Pango. God, that shield stun from Anvil and then dropping to get hit by a back air. Pango up, I think for the first time since they've played all day. Uh, so good to see. Yeah, definitely trying to rewrite history after that last set. Pango a little warm, you know, Seraph's been waiting. Came off a hot set. Not the stall at ledge with mining. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. my god. That sent out at Mach 10. It still makes it back Dude, for the match. Look at the wall. Triple wide. He literally triple? made a 3x3 three three square off stage and said, You will not touch this ledge. Not the 3x3 three three matrix. You had to do that like really high arc and back up thing, you know? <laughs> I don't even know if that was possible, yeah. though. Dude, what is going on? Fair. Might have been a turnaround for Bear right there. Couldn't tell. TNT on the plot. Little trap. Up tilt to set off. Yeah, kind of air dodges to avoid the trap, but still caught in an up air. Not too much out of it, though. Okay. It's funny how it's like they both will try something and then just go back to mining. They're like, ah, that didn't work. Anyways. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, uh, my God. Another dude, one. getting <laughs> caught right at ledge kills. by powered minecart is almost impossible possible to get I out know. of. It's so fast, and it's already hard enough to mash out of that move. You just get sent downwards at Mach 10. <laughs> now, dude, to be honest, when Crafting Table is up on one of the pla like top platform, that's hard for them to get to because of Steve's single jump not making it on a plat. It's true. You have to jump have like to four jump. times to get all the way to top platform platform to platform, you know, you can right. use blocks, but... You're better off just trying to respawn the thing, like, it's... God, these edge cancels on those uppies, tricky. All right, Pango, last stock, already at about 100%. Can he close out this last stock uh, out of the minecart? Yes, he can. All right, Pango with a chance to take this game, but... Syrup looking pretty good, sitting at 0%. Diamond on board for both of them. Definitely the closest Pango's been, as you were saying earlier, but it's looking tough. Yeah, we're a back air away from death. Oh, my God. I almost think Pango wanted to take that that low to try to avoid a follow-up, but it just doesn't matter. It didn't work you know? out. Yeah. All right, Syrup taking game one in this grand finals. It's hard. There's not a lot to say about how you adapt, especially in a ditto, you know, especially yeah. a Steve ditto. It's so chaotic, so wild. It's sometimes hard to even commentate over, like, what one player is doing better than the other, because it's like, well, who's getting caught in more up tilts? Who's finding right. more creative mine carts? Right. They both just got to capitalize off their combo starters. Yeah. Um, also, shout outs to my mom and dad watching in chat. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's Welcome up, y'all? Um, but game two looks like we're moving to F. D. FD. I don't know too much about the resource layout on this one. Looks I like think it's all of them. Yeah, it looks like you're getting all of them. Yeah. I guess that would make sense for Final Destination. Yeah. All right, Diamond already online for Pango. Uh, and Syrup opting for the gold tools. Oh, that was a 50% out of that minecart fair. I swear, Steve's up air, or like the up tilt with the gold tools is like frame two or something. Super fast, super fast. Maybe three, it's so fast. Oh my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, oh my God. Gonna be living though? No. Oh my God, dude, the coverage. 
but still makes it back high. That block to hop over. But what did it cost? Oh, great coverage there. Yeah. Forcing that roll in with minecart and then coverage on roll with Anvil. It's like Pango could spot dodge that minecart, but that's really risky if your timing is off. Yeah. So you want to get that roll in, and yeah, the coverage is perfect. God, going up, another one off the block. Minecart barely whiffing back air. A quick 80% coming out of Syrup to Pango. Okay, uh, going down. Oh, uh, that fair barely, barely whiffing. Close. Those crafting tables are right next to each other. God, it's looking worse and worse for Pango every hit, every single hit. Oh my God, this is so rough for Pango. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> okay. Okay, nice. Grab out of that is nice. You get a surprising burst out of the uh, end of your upbeat. All right. Pango looking for something, but just not able to find that combo starter as Syrup finds more and more chip hits and a big back. You're going to close it out. Three socks to one. It's looking more like their first set every second. Not the taunt. I was going to say, was that a taunt? It looked like it. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, okay. oh wow. Got a snap just barely through that box. Gets the grab, forward throw, setting off low. Oh, oh wow, up smash and through the blocks. There, <laughs> and then bouncing off to the right, that was interesting. There was so much weird hit lag on the like iron block there. God, good okay. coverage on the tech roll 73% in. 73% for Pang like, Pango added onto the stock here. Could be a good opportunity to try to take it to one stock apiece. Okay. I mean. Oh god, barely avoiding the minecarts. Okay. Not gonna kill just yet, but we're getting close. Hango's still in this game here. Trying to air camp a little bit. Ah. F Smash block, not even gonna be able to save him. And yeah. Syrup going up 2-0 over Pango. He's got some work to do. Already coming from loser side and down 2-0. I wonder if Syrup has lost a game this bracket. I bet he Probably has. to somebody, but I just somebody. don't know. Yeah. I don't think he had a crazy front. Like, uh, winner side, he played somebody. Uh, he started in winner's round two. I played him in winner's round three. Round one of top 32, he had Floppy Fail. Floppy Fail, who we beat on stream. And then into maybe Pango? That would have been winner's semis, yeah. Okay, Pango swapping to Villager. Oh, interesting. All right, someone else that can play a distance game and kind of pressure Steve for getting materials. We're definitely in for a slower game, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Because... Pango is not going to want to approach, and Syrup is going to take that time to camp for yep. sure. But also, I mean, if, if Pango can get a stock lead, maybe like trying to play for time or something isn't the worst idea. Right, forcing Steve to approach. Which, you know, this change of momentum, this mix could be all he needs to get that stock lead to try and go for time. Just so difficult. I don't know, man. I just can't believe that Villager is a good character. Like, I know he is, but it's like... Why? He's just weird. He's man. so weird. He's a zoner with clown shoes on. <laughs> oh, God. That was an interesting option. Tech roll in on the fair. It's interesting that you could just spawn Lloyd Rocket and in it the block. destroys blocks. them all, yeah. yeah. Percents are, like, exactly even right now. I think I expected a minecart and wanted to catch with the fireworks. Okay. Uh, either one of them poised to take this first stock. Oh my god. All of those up smashes are just not working for Pango. I get the idea there, but... <laughs> Spawned it in, in his face. Yeah, that, I mean, that's a very good break blocks option. <laughs> Uh, ah, even went deep, 
mashed out at the end and still got caught by Fair. Once you can do those weird Steve angles where you can recover from anywhere, it's like, it's what, do you, what do you do? You know, you can chase him all the way down. Oh Syrup God. a master of everything. Looking grave for Pango here with a three to one stock lead. F smash to send off. Yeah, tournament point here. Looks like it might just be all over any second. Bear. And there it is with a three stock to close and a clean 3-0. Syrup takes the whole tournament. Wow, wow. Great stuff to Pango. Awesome grind throughout bracket today, but just couldn't take it over Syrup. But Syrup is a monster, you know, highly ranked player in New Jersey. Um, uh, PGR ranked top 100, so it's 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 hard to compete with that level of talent. Pango did a great job. Yeah, absolutely. And hopefully we see all of these competitors not just on the road to Max Res, but actually at Max Res next month. Yeah, this is our final event before our large regional. We gave you the spiel earlier, but $5,000 pop bonus for singles. You're going to have to check it out. Uh, all the information is live at start.gg slash maxres. And if you're interested in commentating, make sure to fill out the application form that's found on that page as well. Yep. If you need um, a specific pool as well, we also have a pool request form on there as well. Yeah. Give it a look. Oh, man. Um, it's there gonna, you go. Yeah, it's going to be a stacked event. And I will say, I am most excited for the prize fights. I know everyone loves doubles, and a 5K pop bonus is really sick. But, like, <laughs> I think the prize fights are going to be next level. And if there was a better re there is no better reason to come on day one than to come see those. Agreed. We're going to be announcing those week by week. There's four of them. Uh, so we're going to be dropping those on Twitter throughout this next month. Uh, there's 500 bucks on the line for each one. We want to mic these players up so that you guys at home on the broadcast can hear them talking some shit. It, uh, it should be pretty fun. We're going to have a bunch of cameras in here. Uh, you know, Max Res, High Res, those are always uh, our events where we upscale our production even more than we already have over the years. So we're pulling out all the stops this year. It'll be a fun time. Um, God, but what a day, yeah. Scotty boy. What a day, what a bracket. We're, th we're down another one. I know. You know? Uh, we run this tournament series every month uh, out of Brooklyn, New York's largest esports venue, located at 339 Troutman Street in Brooklyn, New York. There's this big arena space back here that we run our events at, or you can also run your events here if you reach out to us at uh, Tucker or Scott at 12G.GG or Brooklyn. Uh, backslash events. You can find out more information. There's a land room with 30 PCs, a full barn kitchen up in the front of the venue. So many capabilities, so much fun to be had. So make sure to reach out to us to run your event for you here or reach out to the venue if you'd like to rent the space. 